a Georgia woman was insulting the size of her sheriff deputy boyfriend's manhood, so he shot her dead, prosecutors say. What a fool. The true irony in this is that for at least the next 30 years, he's going to have to wake up every day to see someone else's wang. Just hog city, night of the one-eyed monsters, that woman did not deserve to die due to his own insecurities. Front page detectives put two small pickles next to his picture, and it's killing me right now. A former sheriff's deputy in Georgia pleaded guilty to the murder of his girlfriend after she allegedly insulted the size of his manhood, according to authorities. Can you really associate the term manhood in any way, shape, or form with this guy when he can't even take a few harsh words from a woman during a discussion or a heated argument, whatever it was? They got pills for that stuff, man. At a gas station, you swipe your card, and before it clears, you're on your way to Rock City. Jason Moose Cunningham overcompensating with the nickname right off the bat recently entered the plea for malice murder. The Augusta Press reported a Richmond County judge then sentenced Cunningham to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 30 years plus five years of possession for a gun in the commission of a felony in connection with the death of 37-year-old Nicole Harrington. How many of you think they're going to find him swinging from a bedsheet necktie within the first 18 months? <laughs> Cunningham and Harrington were in a relationship, but she reportedly didn't know that Cunningham was also married. Wait a minute. See, this is where lover boy got his wires crossed. He barely had enough dick for his wife. <laughs> You spread that at home. You want to step out and try and test the market, then got your little itty-bitty feelings hurt. On June 17, 2020, Cunningham reportedly got angry with Harrington because she was spending time with another man. What do you care? You're a married man named Maui, and Harrington allegedly told him, at least Maui has a large penis. <laughs> no, not moose. For any man with the least bit of confidence, pride, and dignity in himself, this would have rolled right off of their back. It wouldn't have affected them in the slightest, just chalked it up to angry words. But no, not this guy. Nope. He has a short man complex, pecker inferiority in its full definition. Cunningham then shot Harrington in the head, and her body was found the next morning at the convention center parking deck in Augusta. Police identified Cunningham as the suspect and got into an eight-hour standoff, his longest show of stamina displayed ever in his life, with him at the Points West Army Resort before he surrendered. This is 100% a product of his own insecurity, because if he didn't know this to be facts, he would have just chalked it up as her trying to break things off, or her just pushing to get a little bit of distance between her, just a little bit of space. Oh no, he held those truths to be self-evident. Richmond County District Attorney Jared Williams said Cunningham was living a double life by having the affair with Harrington, and he ultimately shot and killed her for insulting the size of his manhood. Any real man would have never thought to take it that far over something so small, unintended. WJBF reported. Officials said Cunningham worked as a deputy for the Richmond County Sheriff's Office between September 2001 and February 2018. 